In this quick video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can generate clusters of content that are gonna help you become the topical authority figure within your niche. And if done consistently, you can get good results like the ones you see on the screen, where if you're doing it over six months, you are ideally getting around about 891 clicks per day. That's organic traffic. Now, obviously this is a, there's a very big caveat here. It depends a lot between the industry that you're in. But if you do this consistently, I can guarantee that you're gonna get positive results. We're gonna use a bunch of tools to do this. A few of them are paid, however, they all have free versions, which is more than enough to do what we are going to do here. We're gonna generate five blogs, but I'm gonna show you how you can easily generate 15 or 35 or how many more you want really with the paid version. There's a couple of things that we need to do. First, we need to kind of build out the topical authority map and what that looks like. Then we're gonna feed it to this uh, AI blog writing tool, which is incredible. It writes the blogs for us and it also does all the interlinking, the back linking, internal linking for us, which is essential for SEO, as well as reference the sites that you want and omit the sites that you don't want to reference as well. So it's really, really good. So for this instance, we're gonna use this example website, which is just a uh, Melbourne-based specialized support services. So they support NDIS support, National Disability Insurance support to those who have hoarding and squalor issues that they need help. So a very specific use case and just to demonstrate that you can do this pretty much with any website at all. First of all, we're gonna grab the website. We're gonna go to Perplexity, which is another free tool incredible search engine, I highly recommend it. By the way, all the tools that we use are gonna be just in the description of this video below. Also, if you don't know who I am, my name's Nico. I run an AI powered SEO agency. I also run an online community, which is the AI Ranking and Automation Hub, where we teach you all you need to know about how to rank your website using artificial intelligence tools and making AI powered automations to help your marketing goals. It's a lot of fun. You can check that out in the description of this video below. So first thing we need to go is go to perplexity. And what we wanna do is get perplexity to provide a summary of our website and I've just put the link there really really simple prompt the free version of perplexity is more than enough for this but if you do sign up for perplexity um, and give them your email you get I think five pro searches which is pretty cool anyway so uh, I'm going to get that uh, summary and go to this custom GPT. You'll be able to use this for free as well. I didn't create this. Uh, Hamish Davison, an incredible SEO guy, created this. I use this all the time. But what we're going to do is we're going to just paste the uh, description that we have were given by the by perplexity which is also going to copy the url so the more information you give it the better outcome it's going to give you so this is going to start providing you a kind of a topical authority map with pillars and sub pillars and a bunch of things that we can start writing about you can see it's already understood the business and it's giving us a couple it's given us a couple of uh, pillar pages for the niches such as ndi support coordination understanding ndis uh, compassionate hoarding support and all that sort of stuff which is really good so what we might do is uh, tell it to generate the sub pages and in the meantime, we'll start getting a couple of things ready. The AI content uh, generation, the AI content writer tool that we use is called Machined AI. It's one of those tools that is a bring your own key. So you're actually using your own API key. I've got a detailed tutorial on how to sign up for this tool, but I'll leave a link down below for you to sign up to Machined AI to use the free version. It's quite good. Once you sign up and make an account, uh, you'll start to, you'll start to be able to create clusters of content, which is what we wanna start doing. You won't have anything here, uh, but when you sign up, you'll have the clusters. And what we wanna do is go create clusters. The topics here is gonna be um, you wanna fill this out as best as possible. I'm gonna save this and show you a little trick. If you don't know how to even start filling this out. I will take a screenshot of this, go back to your uh, GPT and go upload the screenshot and just ask it to fill this out for you with a certain topic that you wanna write. Just tell it to, that you wanna write the content about the certain sub pillar that it told you and just help me fill this out because I don't know how to and it should understand the subtext of what you're trying to do. 
There you go, perfect. So now I've got the first one which I wanna do, NDIS, support coordination, navigating the NDIS system. That seems like the correct one, perfect. Uh, people in Australia wanting to understand the NDIS system. Uh, the language, obviously, we're going to do is UK. And here is where we're going to do a couple of things. If you have the paid version, you're going to have the opportunity to do the manual. Otherwise, you can do the free version, which is just the autopilot, which works just as well, although you won't be able to select a couple of things that we're doing. So with the paid version, you're going to go to manual. And it tells you here, you can manually place the keywords and the titles that you want to try and write about. Now, because we've written our topical authority map it's already told us a couple of things here we're going to go to 10 for example go back to machine all we're going to do is just give the t get keywords we don't really want to include the titles here perfect now i've got uh one two three four five six seven uh, articles that are very specific to this niche that I want to write about. I'm going to go create a cluster of the nine blogs and it's going to take me to a section where I can see what it's going to start writing about. Now, again, if you want to know how to integrate, how to start using machine day, I'll leave a link to a video in the description below where it shows you how to put in your API key and everything like that. What we're going to go is create the cluster. We're going to enable, make sure that the interlinking between the blogs is enabled. Uh, the feature images, we're going to use DALI. The length, we're going to go medium. And this is where it gets interesting. The research we want to configure and we want to go to make sure that we are telling it to reference the resources here. So we're going to go the semi-automatic research, provide us up to five pages to scrape, meaning it's gonna reference and use that information if applicable when writing those blogs. It's gonna do a bunch of things that's really, really good for SEO. I'm going to uh, also use the content from the website so that when it's writing, it's also referencing the website itself. And uh, I'm going to do that for all of the little uh, configure section for the research for all of them. Cool, so now I'm telling you what to reference. Uh, I'm gonna go to GPT-4.0. It's a lot better, it's a lot cheaper. I prefer the way that that writes. The tone, I'm just gonna leave, uh, leave as natural, but you've got a lot of choices here. I'm going to make sure that we're going to humanize the writing of them. Um, it really does help the writing perspective or the tone of uh, the blogs, the output. It ensures that you don't have the stereotypical AI written tone of voice, like whenever something starts with in the ever evolving world of you know that it's written by AI, things like that. It just gets really well. And now with all that gone, we've got the clusters and everything like that. We're telling it the information that it should, re that it should reference. We're going to write the seven articles. We're going to give it a second and you can see that it's already starting to write everything over here. I'm gonna come back when all that is finished. Great, now we have some blogs that are all ready to go. We're gonna read the blog by clicking this one here and it's gonna tell me the catalyst for change, how NDIS support can empower you. Nice little image there, not too bad considering it's daily three. It gives us a couple of things. It gives us the keywords that we're trying to rank for, which is this one here. It gives us the meta description, which is great. And then it gives us the entire blog here, which is very, very cool. I really like it. It um, sometimes gives you some tables, even some rating things, which is really, really cool. One thing that you do wanna do is here, we're going to provide it the main blog link. So for example, here, blog. What this is going to do is now if we have a look through here and you look at the bottom left corner, it tells you what link this is generated, but this is the link of the other blogs that it's generated within this cluster. Incredible. Um, so it's already doing the internal backlinking for you and all of our blogs are ready to go. Let's just read, uh, check out one more here. Yeah, perfect, DIS. This one will be a table here, it's for Ryan. And the wording is quite natural already just because we've hit the, the humanizer perspective. It says the National Disability Insurance King is here to help Aussies with disabilities along with their family cares. Already that to help Aussies with disabilities is 
pretty good. I wouldn't think uh, an AI, unless it's prompted really well, is going to write that automatically. So really nicely done. So now there's a couple of ways that we can put this onto our website, which is this one here. We can either copy and paste it into a blog in the back end, which is fine. And you can do that by going to read and you simply, you can do that by going to copy and that's gonna copy the entire markdown of that. So for example, if I just open up a new document and paste it in there, I'll show you what that looks like. So now that's all paste and it's already backlinked as well, which is really good. Here, it's giving me the links that it's backlinking to, it's fantastic. I can also download it in a HTML file. For example, uh, if I go the three dots here, it can download in HTML or the markdown. But I wanna show you another version that's gonna make your life even easier here. I'm gonna go to the CMS connections. I'm gonna go to the WordPress and I'm gonna connect my website here by providing the blog it's gonna ask me to connect the website. So if I'm already logged into the backend, that's perfect, that's all I need. If it's done this correctly, it'll ask you an application would like to connect to your account. You All you gotta do is yes, approve this connection. They've made it really nice. So as long as you're logged in to your WordPress backend in the same browser, it kind of does all the configuration for you. And I'll show you why this is so amazing because in a one click, in with one click, if you've got a successful connection, like we see here now, we are able to go back to all of our blogs. We're gonna write finish here. And if we go clusters and the clusters that we just wrote here, we can actually publish to a CMS, which is really good. We select the connection and we go to the website here in option. We're going to leave the um, status as draft. You don't wanna publish them right away. You always wanna check how they look. And that is it. We're going to publish. And now you see that it's posting. And that means it's posting them all to my back end of the website. And if we go and take a look here and go to posts and just refresh this section, you can see now that I've got all of the blogs here uh, published as drafts within the site. So I didn't even have to cop manually copy it. I can just put everything, push through everything to my website. And if I just take a look at them and how they look, make sure they're formatted okay. You always wanna do that and preview. And I might have to do a little bit of editing, but so far so good, it looks pretty good. I might have wanna go back into the back end and add some external linking to the uh, NDIS website of Australia or add some more images there. But already in a couple of minutes, I was able to create a content pillar plan, uh, give it to Machined AI to create that high quality content for me and push it automatically to my WordPress website in a matter of a couple of minutes instead of taking a couple of weeks to write seven blogs that are gonna help me rank. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It can be a very, very effective tool when done consistently. I would suggest you start with maybe four to five blogs a week and keep an eye on the Google Search Console data to see how that's going. If you wanna learn how to do all this stuff for um, all this stuff related to AI powered SEO, again, I suggest you check out our AI ranking and automation hub. It's a lot of fun. You get all the tutorials and we also have live Q&A sessions where you can come in and talk to us if you have any questions about SEO, a lot of fun. If there's anything else you wanna see, related to what we just done, just leave it in the comments below and I'd love to make that video for you. Cheers.